danger could be growing in your backyard. They may not look like much, but these plants could have could leave you with painful rashes and blisters. New at 6, Brian Nisnansky shows us what to watch out for. Identifying the difference between a harmless weed and a dangerous invasive species could save you from a nasty burn and be the first step from preventing an invasive species from spreading. Hogweed is easy to spot because of its enormous size. Hogweed flowers are going to be up to two and a half feet in diameter, so that's there's nothing else that's going to have a flower head that big. Wild parsnip is yellowish in color and can be tricky to identify. A much shorter plant in stature that's got a the leaves are more linear, they're not spread out. Coming in contact with these weeds can leave your skin with harsh blisters, burns, and rashes. Immediately, cold water, soap, wash those areas as good as possible. The weeds aren't toxic themselves, but it's their reaction to the sun that causes damage. It gets on you, it kind of dilutes and spreads around with the sweat, and then when you do go out in the sun, the ultraviolet rays from the sun activate that. Last week, the Southeastern Wisconsin Invasive Species Consortium responded to this property in Sheboygan, confirming the first case of giant hogweed in Southeastern Wisconsin. It's still unknown how or how long this giant weed has been on the rural property. With funding from the Wisconsin DNR, SeaWisk has been treating the area with chemicals in order to kill off the weed. Now, the giant hogweed may be a lot more more daunting, but the wild parsnip, like behind me along this stretch of Port Washington Road, can be just as dangerous and a lot more common in southeastern Wisconsin. In Mequon, Brian Isnansky, today's TMJ4. It's good information.